What is up, aliens? RJB Gaming here, and um, today I was just gonna talk about um, ADD and ADHD. So, as many of you know, I have ADD, and it's something. It's not really much of a. I mean, it is a struggle, but well, for lots of people. But I just wanted to kind of bring up an awareness about it because it does make your life tougher in some ways. So, I was just gonna show all the people that don't have it, what it's like to live every day with it, not being on medication or something that helps with that problem and not letting you focus. Um, so ADD and ADHD it's, is a big problem that lots of people do struggle with. Like I said, um, this video I actually um, decided to make because I saw, I just decided to search up videos about ADHD and ADD and I found this one person that did it her name is I think it's Charlotte um but yeah she did a video that I'm trying to do to show other people also like her so um yeah I'll have her li her link in the description so you can go check out her channel and check out her video I'll have that video um but yeah I just thought that it was a really cool idea to do so I decided to do it too not like shopping off of her anyway, but so Charlotte, if you're watching this, I'm not copying off you, okay? One of the things I think people can relate to that have ADD and ADHD is just mainly forgetting stuff. Like if you walk into a room and you just forget what you were doing. What was I doing? The other thing I find myself doing without my medication um, is if I find stuff and I like pick it up to do something with it, I'll not do what I was going to do with it. I'll like pick it up, I'll start using it to like drum or just if it makes noise I'll make that noise into like music and I'll just do that for like a few seconds and I'll be like wait, I was doing something with this. Okay. Another thing is, I'll be thinking of just something random in the middle of class, and one moment I'll be listening to the teacher, but not really understanding what she's saying, and then the next class will be over because I've spent like too much time thinking about something. Even though it felt like five seconds, it just goes by a lot quicker. I know that sounds great and all, but. Sometimes it's not because you fail your next test. Okay, class, now we are going to learn about dividing. I wonder why chickens can fly, but penguins can't. They're practically the same. Square root, hmm. adding, oh, wait. That reminds me. What were we having for lunch? Oh, I'm so hungry. All right, class is over. Oh, crap. Like I said, completely random. Another thing is... If I'm doing one thing, I'll get completely sidetracked and go on to something else and completely forget about the other thing until I see it. And then I'm going to do that again. My mom's going to kill me if my room's not clean. Okay, you need to go away. Okay. Wait, but you need to go away too. Okay. You. Wait, no, you. When did you guys get on the ground? <sighs> okay, so... So... That was basically, um... If you were taking a test, and... You had... ADD or ADHD, um... So... Now I'm just gonna go through and tell you some of the sayings that I normally get as an ADD person or stuff that's really annoying to hear from someone else. 
One is, did you hear me? Um, lots of the times, we, um, when you, when ADD people, um, ask to, re for you to repeat yourself, that, it's not that they don't hear you, it's that it just doesn't register. So, um, basically, um, how I was taught is, my mind is like normal people's minds, like without people without ADD or ADHD, their brains kind of have like a gate or something. So when they need to hear something, they'll open it and then the stuff comes in and they close it. So it stays in. But for people with ADD or ADHD like me, our door is constantly, our gate is constantly open. So it just goes through and then just go straight out. And that's really hard because we hear so many st so many things and it just keeps going through. So that's lots of the reasons why we have to ask to repeat stuff. Like we'll hear it, just we forget it. This next thing goes along with that. Um, it's basically, uh, you're just using that as an excuse. So if I say, I'm sorry, I have ADHD, I, except I don't say that quite often, but, um, I do sometimes, I'll be, like, saying that to my dad, and it's not because of an excuse, it's because I haven't taken my pill, I'll say, sorry, I haven't taken my pill, he'll be like, stop using that as an excuse, I'm like, I'm not, it's how my brain works, my brain has a chemical imbalance, so it doesn't hear stuff as other people do it's hard so it's just annoying to hear that because I'm not using it as an excuse it's basically it's basically you're calling us a liar so say someone did something and you saw them do it and then you got in trouble for it and then you tell them that, no, they did it. Then the person that you're telling is like, you're just using that as an excuse. That feeling that you get because of that is what we get when we're told you're using your pill or your ADHD or ADD as an excuse to... So, I know lots of people get this, get told this, but personally, I haven't heard it, but it I hear it's a problem, so it's basically... Other people will say, I think I'm a little ADHD, or I think I'm a little ADD because I get bored in class, or I don't want to do my homework. That's not how ADD or ADHD works. It works to where it's not that you're bored of class, although I am bored of class all the time, but I, I try to listen because I want to get a good grade. It's just that... I can't really hear what the teacher's saying, or, I mean, I can hear it, I just don't understand it. So, lots of the times it's like, with learning, I'll hear what the teacher's saying, but I can't make sense of it, I'll have to ask my classmates, um, or I'll be reading something, and I'll, like, look through it, I'll be like, oh, this is interesting. And then, turns out it's not actually interesting, I just don't understand it, so I'll have to, like, read it over and over and over again, because I'll be like, I know this is supposed to make sense, just it's not, you know? So, yeah, it's like trying to learn some, like, your older sibling's math book, like, read out of that. Like, you know it's supposed to make sense, but it doesn't. Except that's for me with anything, with, if I don't have my pill. So this last one's gonna probably make me go on a little rant. Um, personally, I haven't heard it, but I hear some people hear it. One is ADD or ADHD isn't real. I don't know why they'd say that because it's been proven and doctors have told people about it and we take medicine for it. Um, not medicine. We're not sick. It's, uh, yeah, you get my point. Um, but Stuff like that, I haven't heard it, but 
I just don't know why they can say that because it's been proven. It's an actual thing that people suffer from that makes our brains different from theirs. Ours hears more things and does more tasks and more thoughts than theirs does. Theirs focuses on one specific thought. Ours dives to different thoughts in, in a, like different directions. It's like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, wait, no. I want to draw. No, I think I'll read. Wait, I don't know how to read. Except I know how to read. But, um, it's stuff like that. It's simple stuff and it gets us confused. So, I don't know why you'd be calling that fake. Because, are you a doctor? No. There are some pros to having this, though. ADD and ADHD people tend to be passionate, creative. Lots of them happen to be intelligent. Um, it's, it's not that we're not smart. It's that it's harder for us to learn. So sometimes that does help us to when we learn, it helps us like learn it like and stays in our head because it's harder to learn. Something that you have to work to learn will tend to stay in your brain more than something that you just hear from someone and you're like, oh cool, I'll, I'll try and remember that. So that stuff stays in your brain more because you worked, you put an effort to understand it and when you understand it you kind of get a sense of pride so you it stays with you we are also in lots of lots of the time creative so we'll think of different ways to come up with solutions like me I don't know why just if I'm trying to multiply something like 6 times 8 my brain will go 6 12 24, 48, 80, 96. So I go from, it's like exponents basically for me, except I hate exponents. They're seriously hard for me. But that's the way my mind thinks of most multiplication. But for other people, their minds are like, okay, so six times eight, okay. Oh, gotta think. So they'll like go six, 12, 18, yeah, see, I have trouble doing that way, so I just develop my different ways to learn it and think of it in a different way, which does help me learn somehow, somewhat, but, yeah, it's not always that easy. Also, we tend to make people laugh a lot, we are kind of, sometimes, sometimes, uh, um, fun to be around. Personally, I have friends that they say I'm pretty a pretty funny guy. Like in this past school year, I made lots of friends, and I'm gonna lose some, and it is pretty sad for me because I enjoyed having them as friends. But yeah, um, we were on this trip for Holiday World. I had a vlog for it, and as I was looking around after everyone was leaving. I saw lots of my friends get into their own cars and start driving away and I was like, I was realizing this is really the last time I'm going to see them. But that is beside the point. Someone figured out tie that into ADD or ADHD. I don't know. It is something you should watch out for and if you see someone struggling, reach out to them and help them and just tell them, hey, I'll I'll help you, I'll, I'll help you, I'll walk you through it, and show you the steps, because, trust me, if they're anything like me, they need it. I gotta tell you, I was nervous before making this video, I wasn't sure how it would turn out, I wasn't sure what people would say, but, I, st I mean, I still don't, I haven't uploaded it yet, but for you, you're watching this right now, so, um, yeah, just... Comment, tell me what you think, and hopefully it's good.